Hello and welcome to MyExcelsius.com videos. My name is Kalyan Verma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the calendar component in Excelsius 2008. Many a times, end users want to click a date and then look at the data for that particular date. In such scenarios, you can always use the calendar component, which comes as an out-of-box component in Excelsius 2008. Before proceeding with the example, I would like to show you the underlying data that is on the Excel sheet. Let's change the view from workspace to spreadsheet only. This is the source data we're gonna use for this particular visualization. I'm gonna use the daily sales by branch data. I have the date column and the corresponding data for various branches. The yellow cells which you see on the top are basically inserts either from the components on the dashboard or they are formulas associated with the visualization. Let's have a look at the formulas first. In cell B2, which says calendar insert cell, is nothing but the insert from the calendar component. For example, if you pick a date on the calendar component, the date is inserted in this particular cell. And the cells B3 through J3 are basically lookup values for various branches and it's going to look up against the date which is selected by the user. And cell B4 as a best practice for the chart subtitle, we use a text formula and convert the cell B2 into the date format. Let's switch back to the normal mode and let's get back to our workspace mode so that we can see both the canvas as well as the worksheet. Now let's get started by dragging and dropping our required components for this particular example. I'm going to use a chart, a column chart, and obviously the topic of discussion, the calendar component. First, let's work on the calendar component. If you look at the properties of the calendar component, as with any other component in Excelsius, you have a title field. Basically, this is optional. I'm going to leave it empty for this example. The important thing to bind in on the calendar component is the insertion type. If you select day, it's going to insert only the date, only the day into the desired cell. If you look at the simulation here, you're picking a date and it's inserting the day into the selected cell. If you select the date as your insertion type, it's going to insert the complete date in the American format, which is MMTDYYYY. For this example, we're going to use the date. The reason being our date column is in the date format, so we're going to use the date. And my destination would be, as I explained it before, B2. And that, that's all uh, you need to map when it comes to calendar component. There are other options like the behavior tab and the appearance, which uh, is common for almost all components in Excelsius. Now let's bind the column chart so that we can show some interactivity. I'm going to bind the title to daily sales by branch cell, which is A7. And I'm going to bind the subtitle to B4. And when it comes to the series, I add a series and bind the series name to the date so that whenever I change the date, the series name automatically changes to that particular date. And I give the Y values at the, as the lookup values. And the labels for X axis as the branch names. Now you can do a little bit of formatting so that the chart looks even better on your visualization. That the, those are the other options you can explore later. But this example is limited to this explore the functionality of the calendar component. So let's quickly do a preview. 
and if you see I, I have recorded this video on 26th of January so I put the current date so if I change the date you see the subtitle changing as well as the series changing and if I hover over any of the columns you can see the date as a series name. So that's about the calendar component. Make use of it wherever required. It's a very handy component when it comes to looking at the data on on the basis of picking a date. Thanks for watching.